Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple TV antenna out of a piece of scrap copper tubing, a board, two screws, and a 75 ohm transformer. This is a simple dipole antenna for the DIYer to build to pick up some free over-the-air TV channels in your area. If you're an RF engineer, please be nice to me in the comments. First thing you have to do is straighten out the copper tubing. Just use your hands and try to straighten it out as much as possible. This will probably take a little bit of time. Now, once you have your tubing straightened, you need to know the frequency of the channel that you want to build your antenna to receive. For the example here, I'm going to use channel seven. Channel seven broadcasts on 177 megahertz. And we're going to use this simple formula here. There's a constant you use to calculate the length of an antenna, 468 divided by the frequency of your channel. So for channel seven, our formula looks like this, 468 divided by 177, which works out to a length of 2.64 feet, which is about 31 and three quarter inches. So we'll just round that up to 32. I'll cut a piece of tubing that's 32 inches long. Check the description of the video for a link to an online table of TV channel frequencies and also if you're not a math person I've put a link in the description with an online calculator you can use all you have to do is enter the frequency of the channel you want and it will do all the calculating for you and now cutting the copper tube and filing the edges to make them smooth make sure your tube is as straight as possible for the next step we're going to cut this tube into two equal pieces Half of 32 is 16. Now I'll cut that tube in half and file the other ends. Next, you're going to put the pipe on a firm surface and use a hammer to pound an inch or so of the end flat. Next, you're gonna drill holes in the flat spots you made on those pipes. Just drill the holes big enough for the screws to fit. Now drill two small holes on the top of the board you're going to use. Make sure that the holes are at least an inch apart. Now fasten the antenna elements to the board with the screws. Make sure there's a gap between them and they're not touching. Now you're going to add in your transformer. When you tighten it down, make sure the wires don't twist and try to keep the elements straight. And here's the finished TV antenna. I connected the coaxial cable to the transformer and added a staple just to keep the strain off that transformer wire. And if you don't have copper tubing, you can also just use a couple of lengths of copper wire or even coat hanger wire would work fine. And all that's left to do now is find a spot to mount your antenna, either inside or outside. Just make sure it's facing the direction of your local broadcast towers and is mounted as high as possible. And then run a channel scan and get those free local over the air channels.